Hey everybody, it's Echo Papa, and welcome to part four of our audio settings. Uh, in this part, we're going to show you a, a neat trick. Let's say you only have uh, one sound card, and that sound card is capable of handling outputs from deck one and from deck two, but you run into a situation where you want to run outputs out of deck one and two and deck three and four. So how do you get four signals out of that? Well, it's real easy. We're going to show you how to split up the audio. So Let's go ahead and we're going to switch it to an ex our external sound card. We're going to go here. Now this is our setup for uh, our Maya sound card. We're going to use only this sound card. And you can see right here, out 1 and 2. Uh, once again, out 1 and 2 does not represent deck 1 and 2. It actually represents left and right stereo channel. And then 3 and 4 represents left and right stereo channel for the second pair of audio. So, But what you can do is you can split these up instead of having two stereo pairs what you can have is four mono pairs so I'll show you how to do it we're gonna go here we're gonna set up deck three and deck four now right now we have uh, these set up we're gonna change it to Maya 4.4 four, because we're only gonna use the Maya 4.4 four for this and we're gonna change these channels first we're gonna drop this down and you can see just the stereo pairs here we also have out one and out two of mono switch this out two Okay, that was pretty easy. So now the output one is going to be from uh, deck one. The output from two is going to be deck two. So for these two decks, now all we have to do is take a signal splitter, plug into those ports, and we can run it right into the stereo inputs of our mixer. So what are we to do with deck three and four? Show you. Go down here to where it says more. This is where you are going to manually be able to select your channels. So, and when it says source left and source right, these are actually left and right coming out of the deck. Now, we're already selected with deck three here. So it says, where's our, our, our left channel going to come out of? Output three. Where's our right channel going to come out? Output three. And when we say this, uh, what we're saying is we want a mono channel, both signals run together to come out of that third port. You can see it's already labeled it for us, output three, third port. We're going to do the exact same thing with deck four, where we're going to do it with output four. Select more, out four, out four, close this up. Now we have four mono signals that are running out of virtual DJ, and we can run it straight into our external mixer. So now that we have it set up like this, now how do you set it up externally? Well, it's really easy. You just take, uh, set your mixer to mono, assuming it has that ability. If not, just use uh, a stereo splitter to split the stereo from mono back into stereo, and it'll just be two stereo signals and plug them into your inputs. But if, uh, if your mixer does have uh, a mono setting, just switch it to mono and just run one input cable from the output, each output of the sound card straight into each channel on your mixer and you now have a four channel sound card. And you say, well, I don't want to run in mono. Well, I'm going to tell you, unless you're doing production, you know, where you're recording something for say a CD or something to that effect, uh, when you're performing live, I perform mono whenever I can. And the reason for that is, is because when you're in uh, stereo, you're actually projecting a stereo field of left and right. Now, the audience that's in the center of that stereo field, they're going to be able to hear the stereo. But somebody who's you know, farther off to the left and farther off to the right is only going to hear half of the signal. Or if they're way far off to the left, like let's say they're to the left of your stage or to the right of your stage, they're just going to com only completely hear uh, one side of that uh, versus your stereo signal. But if you switch it to mono, they're going to be able to uh, listen to everything and this is especially true like say in in clubs or at festivals where people could be all over the place and if internally in a club sometimes the speakers can be all over the place and you never know where your dance floor is actually going to be and so once again I recommend playing in mono anyway so this is a uh, this is not going to hurt you at all if you like this video please click the like button if you really liked it please share it with your friends or better yet subscribe come back for our next video where we're going to talk about the line input and how to input an external signal into virtual dj